Well, the rule change in the field events, meaning that only the top four get three further jumps, has been heavily criticised. But I tell you what, it has showcased this final round of the winning triple because if Argwin has been pushed back into second place by that big jump of Rupakova, if Argwin, unbeaten in four years, well, that's going to be remarkably close. That looks to me as it may be slightly shy of the 1461 of Rupakova, if Argwin, 34 consecutive victories. She's been incredibly robust, but look, she's cost herself a valuable 15 or 20 centimetres by being behind the board there. A jump in excess of 14 metres, she needs 14.61 to wrestle the lead back off from the Kazakhstan athlete. Ibargwin, the double world champion, Rupakova, the Olympic champion. Ibargwin looks like she knows. Well, it's 14.53, it's not enough. It means if Argwin is beaten for the first time in four years. Well, that's a big upset, a big upset for Katerina Ibargwin, Rupakova, taking the win there with a the big season's best, 14.61, 13.12. Slight disappointment for Laura Samuel down there in eighth place. If you've been inspired by the runners here today, why not start small by downloading the Couch to 5K app using the BBC's Make Your Move website.